How many times do you judge people in a day? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Let's watch these funny but insightful ads from AmeriQuest compiled by the vlogger Viral Nation. A chance of fractured fibula. Given well, Saturday. So I could be able to go home tomorrow. Daddy's gonna be so excited. That killed him. Look at the cute dog. I don't hate your mother. Morning, Bev. Hi, can I get a quarter to change? Me. Sorry. Oh, Kevin! Sarah! Hi. Hi! So what are you doing? Dude, I forgot your wallet. Howdy folks, we hope you've enjoyed your flight today. <coughs> Today's Gospel reading is Luke's version of the Gospel of Matthew. While Matthew ended his passage with, Be perfect as your Father is perfect, Luke ends his with, Be compassionate as your Father is compassionate. Let's look back at the last 24 hours of our life and count the number of times we have not shown compassion to others, judged people disapprovingly, have not shown forgiveness, and even condemned them. It can be numerous, right? Pope Francis admits that for many years, he himself was tough on people who didn't measure up. But when he himself suffered humiliation countless times, he knew that God was working on him. He realized that God was silently working on him to be merciful and gentle with others. When he became the Pope, his papal motto became, The Lord has had mercy on me and has chosen me. He was inspired by the Sermon of St. Bede. St. Bede says, The treasure of the heart is the same as the root of the tree. A person who has a treasure of patience and of perfect charity in his heart yields excellent fruit. He loves his neighbor and has all the other qualities Jesus teaches. He loves his enemies, does good to him who hates him, blesses him who curses him, prays for him who calumniates him, wishes not to judge and does not condemn, corrects patiently and affectionately those who err. But the person who has in his heart the treasure of evil does exactly the opposite. He hates his friends, speaks evil of him who loves him, and does all the other things condemned by the Lord. To not judge others requires a deep faith in God. Jesus commands us to leave the judging to him. This is a command from him, for he knows we do a lot of judging, criticizing, fault-finding, and would rather that we help than hurt others 
with our words and our actions. To not condemn so that we will not be condemned means we do not shut the door completely on others, giving others multiple second chances, forgiving them always. It is the most difficult to follow because it necessitates a deep faith and love, one that approximates our love for God. For God can easily exterminate us for sinning. With the flick of His finger, the clap of thunder, and the burst of lightning accompanying, He can throw us tempestuously into hell. But He does not. Ezekiel 18.23 says, Do you think I enjoy seeing evil people die? asks the Sovereign Lord. No, I would rather see them repent and live. When we judge and condemn others, we have made judgment also on ourselves. The kind of person we are shows in the way we measure others. We can become the person we despise in others. But the Gospel assures us today that when we become God-like in our dealings with others, we can become like God in His compassion and perfect in His holiness. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, whenever I fall into the habit of judging and condemning others, catch me in the net of your love and compassion, and correct me in my ways. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.